one of these hose lines, this size will put out 125 gallons a minute. So you're draining in about three minutes, you're out of water. So that's why it's really important. Actually, this is my first year helping out. I did this camp about two years ago as a camper. Um, definitely things have changed. Um, just seeing, uh, you know, from a different perspective of how well things have run and, you know, the different types of things that we do. And it's definitely great to see of how much I've learned. Um, you know, learning ladders, hoses, hydrants, and team building has been a great experience to see from a different view. All right, now Sarah, this is your second year um, vol uh, volunteering with this camp. Uh, can you talk about how the second year is going and it seems uh, like there, there's a higher enrollment this year, a lot more students than last year. Uh, there is. Uh, so last year we had 12 or 13 uh, girls at camp. This year we've got 26 or 27. Um, this year we've focused a lot on team building. Um, we actually took a field trip to Massport on Wednesday, which is the first year we've actually uh, gone off and done anything. So the girls got to see how a different fire department is run, you know, strictly at the airport, how they operate. So the girls seem to like it. Uh, we've done some more uh, relay races this year, and we did uh, some ladders, some engine work. We went a little bit more in depth with the engine work this year. So the, uh, one of the Ashland uh, female officers came in and talked to the girls, showed them, uh, showed them the cruiser. They had a they had a good enjoyment with that. We taught CPR and uh, basic first aid um, a couple of days ago. So it's just been all around pretty good this year. They did some rappelling yesterday in uh, confined space rescue. All right, now, um, when you participate in the camp, did, did it, is that what made you want to get into the Explorers program? It is, yes. Um, I mean, I also had my brother and my dad a part of the Explorers. My dad was an advisor, my brother was an explorer. So that was also another push, but I never really actually got to go and see what they did. I just knew about it. So when I came to the camp and I did all the firefighter work, I did, you know, learn, learning about all the different parts of firefighting, it definitely pushed me into wanting to join the Explorers when I was old enough. How are you liking working with the students? I love it. I love teaching what I know, and I love, you know, just, you know, watching them grow and learn just like I did, and it's definitely a great experience. All right, and um, Sarah, so after last year, did, did you just say to yourself that I have to come back and do this again? I did. Last year was, it was such an experience for me, um, seeing how it motivated the girls are and how they did develop the first day. They're all very shy. They stay in their groups, and then by the end of the week, you got different girls stepping up, being leaders. You can see their confidence is a lot better with everything they do. Um, I just wanted to get more females into into our service and show them, you know, you guys can do what we can do and you guys can do what all, you know, the guys can do and just try to get them a little bit more confident in themselves as, as females in, in the world and growing up. And now over here you're showing them some of the, the fire hose. Uh, can you talk about some of the lessons that they learned uh, while you're showing them that? Um, so a big thing here is uh, teamwork. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on the hose and the hose is heavy so they have to work together as a team um, to handle the hose to move the hose um, that way nobody nobody gets knocked down they don't lose the hose um, it shows them that you know every everybody on the engine has has a responsibility you can't get water to the the truck without one person on a team you can't put the fire out without somebody on the nozzle and it takes everybody to to move all as one one group together